Hey, Dad. How are you doing? I just wanted to check on you. I'm alright, son. Just dealing with some demons. Well, I wanted you to know that Rain and I are taking care of the storage. We're going there today to sort things out. I really appreciate you both so much. You're the best kids. I just want to make this as painless as possible for you. I know that you both weren't that close, so it means a lot to me that you want to help with her things. She was a good wife to you. That's all that truly mattered to me. Yeah, she and I had some issues with each other, but she really loved you. She was an excellent woman. I know she wasn't your mother. It doesn't matter, Dad. Like I said, she was good to you. You and Mom were both happily married afterwards with wonderful people. Do you think Rain might be a little difficult to deal with? He's always had a stressful energy when faced with big responsibilities. That garage is huge, son. I know, but we'll be able to figure it out hopefully within a week. Before the funeral happens. That way we have no drama at the service about heirlooms and whatnot. It's so horrible how people get after a loved one dies. All they care about is what they left behind. I know. Patty's family has been so difficult to deal with in the past. I'm worried they're going to be a nightmare about this whole thing. Hopefully not. I'm more worried about Rain. Yeah, he seems to be taking it pretty hard. He's a very angry person. He always has been. Now that his mother is dead, he has every reason in the world to take it out on everyone. Yeah, he's always had a temper. It might be really difficult to deal with him, I'm not gonna lie. I hope he doesn't make this hell for you. I can handle my own. Besides, he's my brother. I know how to calm him down. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Do you have the list of things I need from there? And the key? I want to make sure I get our old pictures. I got it, Dad. I'll make sure you get everything you need. Thank you, Ray. Of course, I'll keep you updated. Alright, kiddo. Talk to you later. Hey, Rain. I just got over to the garage. When will you be here? I'll be there soon. Okay, I'll get started. I have a key. Just don't start on things until I get there. I want to be there for everything. I was just going to find the stuff my dad wants so I can get it out of the way first. Just wait a second. I'll be there soon to help. I'm only about 30 minutes away. I'm on the train headed there now. I won't go through anything but that. I know you want to go through her stuff. I won't go through any boxes. I really just want to get a head start to cut time. Don't go in there yet. I know more about what's going on in here than you do. I've been here before with Dad. I know how it's organized. Could you just do what I ask for once? She was my mom. I should be handling her stuff. Why are you getting so upset? Our parents were married for 20 years. And she was my mom, too. Step mom, actually. Let's not pretend you were some loyal son to her. I know you're hurting because she's gone, Rain, but you don't have to treat me like crap because of it. Let's make this as painless as possible. We're going to be stuck together doing this for who knows how long. If you just help me with the heavy lifting, I can figure out the rest. I'll find your dad's stuff for you. I already know where it is. Seriously, Ray, I got it. Just stay in your lane. Can we please just be civil about this? Things do not have to be this hard. They aren't hard. Just stop stepping on my toes. You're the one making it hard. I don't want you touching my mom's stuff. Stop being cruel, Rain. We've been brothers since we were kids. We were never really all that close. You never made an effort to be a real brother to me. You never truly saw me that way, and I know it. Where is all this coming from? This literally seems so random. You've never acted this way or said these things before. My mom just died. Of course I'm going to be angry. I get losing someone and everything, but you don't have to turn it into anger or turn it toward me. What do you know about losing a mother? You still have yours. I used to have two. I was devastated when I found out Patty died. You can't even call her mom. You didn't want me to call her that when we were growing up. Don't you remember that? Because she wasn't your mother. But she wanted to be. You're the one who turned her away. I was just a kid. Of course I didn't want to just pretend like my own mother didn't exist. She didn't. As soon as she got married again, you were kicked to the curb. You're just trying to hurt me now. And I'm not going to read into it because I know you're just grieving. Stop dismissing me just because I'm going through something. I mean every word. Get over yourself. You're not the only one going through a difficult time. You're not the only one who lost someone. Yeah, well, I'm the only one who lost a mother. It's different. You know it is. Whatever you say, just keep pushing people away because you can't get over your bitterness. But whatever, I'll see you when you get here. How was Rain yesterday? He was a pleasure to work with. You're being sarcastic. Don't worry about it, Dad. We got a lot done. I just don't want it to be too much for you. I can help him with everything. No! I got it covered. 
I don't want you slaving away after you lost your wife. But Rain lost his mother. He must be dealing with so much. I haven't had a chance to talk to him aside from the day we found out. He wants to be there. He's enjoying going through her things. I, I think it makes him feel better. I wonder if it would help me too. Maybe I would feel happy looking through her things. I could feel closer to her again. If that's what you truly want to do. But I know it's hard on you to even look through her closet at home. You're right. I, I just want to be ready. I know. You will be someday. You just have to give yourself time. Yeah. I'll get the photos to you in the morning. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing them. I know. I'll get them to you as soon as possible. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Rain. I need to tell you something. What is it? Well, yesterday, remember when you gave me a box saying it was the photo box? Yes. Well, it wasn't, even though you said you knew what you were doing. Okay, it's not a big deal. We just gotta look through this weekend and find the photo box. You don't understand, I found something. You went through it? Well, did you expect me not to open it? But did you look through it? What's in it? A bunch of old letters. Well, don't read through them, those were my mom's. I already did. I didn't mean to read the first one, but then I just kept going. How could you accidentally read something? That doesn't make any sense. I thought there was only one letter in the box because it was sticking out of the side. I read it and I had to read the rest. Why did you have to read the rest? Why can't you just mind your own business? So you knew? Knew what? That your mother was a cheater. What? Excuse me? The box is full of letters between her and another man, dating back to over 30 years ago. Your mom was still talking to this man when she married my dad. That can't be. I'm serious. Send me a picture. I can't, I'm at work. When did you go through the box? A few hours ago. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I was in shock. I didn't know how to tell you something like that. You're sad enough that she's gone. She's not a cheater. You must be jumping to conclusions. I'm not. These were love letters. What was the man's name? Peter. Peter? You're making a fool of yourself. Peter is my uncle. Were your mom and uncle in love? No, don't be sick. They were very close. They were infatuated with one another. These letters are clearly romantic. You're disgusting. My mother just died and you're accusing her of having a relationship with her brother? What's wrong with you? Rain, I'm being honest. You don't think this is hard on me? To know my poor father was being cheated on like that the whole time? I don't even know how to go about telling him. You won't because there's nothing to tell. Peter was my uncle. Is it possible there was another Peter in your mom's life? None, my mom told me everything. Clearly not. How dare you? Can't you tell I'm dealing with enough? I'm not trying to get under your skin, Rain. I'm telling you the truth. You deserve to know. There's nothing to know. I know you want to be defensive of her. When loved ones die, people develop a sort of newly found loyalty to them. Don't shrink me, Ray. I don't need your free therapy right now. Save it for your patience. I'm not trying to shrink you. I'm trying to be your brother. You need someone to be real with you. I don't need anything from you. I just need you to mind your business. When you're off work, you're going to bring that box to my place. I can bring it to you and you can see for yourself. And you're not going to tell your dad. I'm not keeping secrets from him. It's not a secret. Then how come I never met Uncle Peter? How come my dad never talked about Uncle Peter? Because my mom and him stopped talking after her and your dad got married. And why do you think that is? Because Peter didn't approve. And why do you think that is? Not for the reason you think. You just need to keep quiet about family matters you know nothing about. Don't go and break your dad's heart because you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't be the one breaking his heart. The truth would break his heart. There is no alternative truth. Rain, how am I going to get through to you? Those letters go into detail about some pretty wild nights Peter and Patty were having. There's some pretty vulgar things in there. You have to be joking. I promise when you read them, you will be traumatized. I think the truth is your mom told you he was your uncle. There's no way he was unless your mom was a sicko. It's really common for women to introduce new men as uncles to children who are too young to understand. What? I've never heard of that. Because you were a victim of it. Your own mother did it to you. I don't want to believe that. I know you don't, but it's the truth. I think we should tell my dad. He deserves to know. You're moving way too fast. If this is the truth, I need time to think about this. 
I don't want to tell your dad anyway. He's already so depressed because she's gone. This would ruin him. It's true. It would hurt him. But I don't feel right keeping a secret of this magnitude from him. He's my father. And when my mother died, they were in love. That should be his last memory of her. While I agree with you that it should be, it's not the reality of things. Patty made a choice, and consequences exist even after death. Yeah, and so does pain. You're just going to cause your dad way more hurt and suffering than what he's already going through. I don't want to hurt him more either, but he deserves to know. Look, buddy, if you want to destroy him further, go for it. I love and care about him, so I wouldn't do that. Just my opinion. I don't need your passive-aggressive opinion. I know what's best for him. I just can't believe my mom would do this. She seemed so loyal to your dad. I really can't fathom it. I know it must be hard. I can take care of dad. Okay, I'm sorry you had to find those letters. I am too. I wish it wasn't true. I never would have expected her to do something like this. Neither would I. I feel like I don't even know her. Like so much of my childhood was a lie. I really thought Peter was my uncle. I, I was so stupid. You were a kid. There was no way for you to possibly know. I guess. I'm sorry for being crazy. It's okay. I know you're going through it right now. I loved Patty, but I know you two were obviously closer. And I can't imagine what you're going through. Thank you for understanding. You're a great son and a great brother. Thanks, Rain. I'll let you know what he says. Hey, Dad. Hello. How goes everything? Well, not so great. What's up, son? When we were going through the garage, Rain gave me a box thinking it was the one you needed, but it wasn't, and it had some pretty questionable things in it. What? What do you mean by questionable? Did you ever hear about Peter? Patty's brother? Wait, they were actually related? What? Uh, of course they were. What did you find that was questionable about them? Wait, did Patty tell you that he was her brother? Yeah. She said he was disowned by the family and that he moved really far away. All I knew was that they sent letters back and forth, and that Patty was the only one in her family who still talked to him. Alright, uh, did you know the extent of their relationship? That they were brother and sister? What are you getting on about, kid? I just need to tell you flat out. I found some romantic letters between her and Peter. They were a really close family, Ray. Are you sure it wasn't just them being a really tight brother and sister? Dad, I'm positive, and I also don't think Peter was her brother. Ray, that is absolutely ludicrous and completely inappropriate. Patty passed away. Why would you want to tarnish her like that? Dad, I have never heard about Peter before, and neither has her sister. What? I got a hold of her family. None of them knew who Peter was. What? Th that's impossible. She cheated on you, Dad. And you proceeded to tell her family before me? I didn't tell them about all that. I said I found a pen pal. I was just trying to see if he really was related like you and Rain think. That can't be. Patty would never do something like that. The letters go back 10 years before you two got married. They didn't stop until she died. The last letter was received over a month ago. They talked the whole time I knew her. I don't understand. Why would she get together with me if she loved someone else? I don't know, Dad, but the letters make it seem like they never met up in person after you had married. But she kept talking to a man she was in love with. It's still not right. It isn't. I wish I hadn't learned after she passed. I'll never have the chance to ask her about it. I'm so sorry. I want to read them. What? Don't put yourself through that. I want to know if she had a secret life. I want to know what it was like. All I have is my own memories now. I just want to know her better. You love her so much. I'll give you the box tomorrow, and we'll keep looking for your pictures. Can I ask you something? Anything. What made you want to tell me? You could have kept it a secret. Do you wish I would have? Yes, and no. I'm glad I know, but it's especially hard knowing because she's gone. I can't get to the bottom of it. You'll just have to make peace with it. You're right. Thank you for being honest with me, I appreciate that. I know you were probably scared to tell me. I was but I'm glad I did too. I don't ever keep secrets from you. I know. Thanks, son. Absolutely.
It's been a few months since Patty passed away. Dad is doing better after sorting through all the things, and Rain is feeling a lot less angry at everyone now that he's had time to heal. We found out that Peter is still alive and lives in another country. Dad feels like he knows Patty a lot more now that she's gone. And slowly but surely, he's starting to recover.